Hey guys, David here and welcome to this video. In last week's video, I added a laser module to my CNC machine. And with it, I was able to cut paper very nicely. And today I'm gonna explore what other options I have. So I'm gonna test a little bit over 10 different materials, some of which you can see here. And I'm gonna see which ones I can cut, which ones I can engrave and or mark. So stay tuned. So if you haven't seen last week's video yet, make sure to check it out either in the i up here or in the first link in the video description. This video will make a little bit more sense if you have watched the previous one. Also, a big thanks again to Banggood for sending the laser you saw in this episode. It's gonna be linked down below so you can check it out. They also have quite a few other amazing tech deals on their website. In the first video I cut a piece of paper with the laser. It worked beautifully and you were able to see how it works. So, staying on the topic of paper, I tried what happens if I take something a bit more thick. So I tried cardboard. And while of course I wasn't able to use the same power as with paper. And if you remember last week's video, I can't modulate the power of my laser module, so I'm modulating the power with speed. On the paper I was able to cut with about 400 millimeters per minute very easily and I could probably even go to five or six hundred. But for most materials that you're gonna see now, I bumped it all the way down to 200 millimeters per minute, which is quite slow, but if you're just cutting out something, that really doesn't matter. It's, these pieces took like two to three minutes. And it's, it's not like you're carving out something bigger. So here we have the result for cardboard. You can see that the logo is very nicely visible. And you can also see that the edges are a bit frayed. That's because when I tried this, I didn't really bump the speed down enough, but if you bump it down all the way to 200, it's definitely gonna work. And the cut itself is very nice and clean and it went very smoothly. Of course, if your power isn't as high, you're gonna be able to just burn it as well. And on the topic of burning, I went on to plywood. And as you can see here, I didn't make it through. Now this is fairly like standard three millimeter plywood, nothing high quality, so it's not especially hard or anything, but a two and a half watt laser just isn't enough to cut through plywood. What you can see here are three tries. I went over the same thing three times, but because it is like three millimeters thick, you can already make out that the focus point isn't on all points of these three millimeters. If I focus the laser to be exact on the top, it's gonna be slightly out of focus in the bottom or vice versa. So I like, I aimed it for the middle, but it doesn't really go down in a crack that well. So burning is gonna be perfectly fine. You can go like, if you want a very deep, dark edge, you can go at 200 millimeters per minute, or you can bump it up to 400 and you're gonna get a nice image. But I didn't give up on wood just yet. And that was a good thing. So I had these very thin pieces of wood lying around. They are just like, not even a millimeter thick. And as you can see, these just cut out beautifully. I think these two are two of the nicest things that I have cut out with the laser. Now, one thing that you have to be careful with wood and other materials is that the surface isn't gonna look that nice. So what you can do to make this better is use just some regular old masking tape and tape it over. The laser is just gonna cut through the masking tape, no problem. It's not even gonna notice that it is there. 
and the masking tape will get a bit brown on the edges, but the wood won't. So as you can see in these B-roll shots, the edges really turn out beautifully. The edges of course are dark and burnt, but there's no spillover on the top, which just looks great. You're gonna be able to make some excellent inlay work with this as it's very precise and looks great. The next thing I tried was foil. What you can see here is just some fake carbon fiber that I tried to cut. Now, it cut very easily, it went just right through. But because it's plastic, of course it's gonna smell horrible. But there's also another pro problem. This foil has a protective thin foil over the top and I left it on to protect it against the black marks that you, you were able to see in wood. But while it cut out beautifully, I wasn't able to get the plastic cover off because it fused together on a cord. So I tried everything again, this time without the plastic on there and it turned out great. And this is a very easy way to make stickers or stencils. This I could put on a piece of wood or whatever I'm gonna, on a paint, go over with a spray can, take it off again and I have a beautiful stencil. Now the edges here aren't that beautiful. They are curled up a little tiny bit, just like because the plastic was melt, molten there and so it doesn't look quite as nice as if it was cut with a knife. But for most applications it will be perfectly fine. And if you don't have a vinyl cutter, this is a great way to make use of your laser. Now next up I went to something I was a tiny bit skeptical about and that is plexiglass. Now I wasn't expecting to be able to cut through the glass because what I'm using is 3mm thick and I was sure I wasn't gonna get through that. But the result still surprised me a little. And here you can see, or you can see lack thereof of a result. If you hold it at the right angle, you can see a tiny bit of engraving, but that's only because of the masking tape. If I try it without the masking tape, you can see just nothing on there. And my explanation for this is that the laser is just light and plexiglass is transparent, so it goes right through it. You can see that on the bottom the wood gets slightly burned where it was lying on. So the laser just doesn't work on transparent things. Glass is going to be exactly the same. It's not going to heat it up so we can break it easier. It's just not going to work. With a very powerful laser this would be possible but not with this tiny 2.5 watt thing. Now. If the plexiglass you're using isn't transparent, but it's like opaque or at least some color in the transparency, then you're gonna have a lot more luck. But I don't have any plexiglass like this on hand to test out, but I'm sure that you're at least gonna be able to engrave in this. And while we're on things that didn't quite go so well, I have this thin sheet of styrofoam and I thought that's so easy to cut through this. You can take a bit of a hot knife and go through it like butter. But it is very white and it's probably blown out in the camera even. And it wasn't able to cut through it. Although it's really soft. On the second try I added masking tape on the top of it. And it worked a bit better. But it didn't go through either. Now I think what happened here and the reason why you can see an engraving in here. Is that the masking tape were it burned, got hot where the cutter was in the masking tape and that made the styrofoam melt around it. So the laser didn't actually cut the styrofoam. It just cut the masking tape which heated up and then left the mark on the styrofoam. So you ain't gonna cut styrofoam with it. Now again if you're using something like blue or pink styrofoam it's probably gonna work and I could think that it's gonna work very easily because the styrofoam melts very quickly. But this kind of shows us that lasers are just not quite like other cutting techniques. Some easy things like styrofoam, I would have imagined that it's no big deal, I can do it like at the speed of paper, but no no, not working. 
but I didn't let myself get discouraged. So I tried out some different materials. Here you can see some fabric, it's kind of a felt material. Um, this one cut very nicely as well. So any kind of fabric that isn't too thick is gonna cut beautifully. It did smell kind of bad, but the cut quality is excellent and it looks great. I also tried this other kind of uh, soft plastic and it worked perfectly too. So that's something that's gonna be very useful if you wanna make some anti-slip pads for some gadgets, because this material is really not slippery. So you could make some pads out of this and make it any shape you want because you're cutting it out with a laser. And then for the great finale, I always wondered what's gonna happen to leather. But I originally didn't even wanna test leather because if you have ever burned your hair or like your skin, you're gonna know how horrible this smell is. And leather is the same material and if you, you want to burn through leather, then you're going to create a whole lot of the smell. And I can tell you, I did try it and it actually worked. But oh my god, the smell was so bad. I had all the windows open, but I wasn't able to be in the same room while the burning was going on. It was so bad. And a week later, it's still smelling a bit like it. So. If you want to cut leather, don't do it in your bedroom and don't do it in your garage if you can. Ideally, you want to do it outside or in an enclosed space, so you don't have to work with the smell. Also, the cut wasn't perfect on the first run with the 200 millimeters per minute. I didn't get quite through, but I got deep enough, so I thought with a couple more tries, I'm gonna make it. And after two rounds, I was through enough so that I could pull out first pieces, but I went over it a third time, but that didn't make much of a difference. Now the front part of the leather, which is really hard, went through in the first two passes easily. But the back kind of furry part, that one didn't go through that easily. But what I was able to do is just go through over it two times and then use a utility knife or exacto knife and very finely go around it and it's gonna fall right out. This leaves you with a beautiful cut and some very nice leather work. Now of course you can also just engrave in the leather and mark it brown by just going over it with like 400 around or a slightly out of focus laser. And that's gonna be able to give you some very nice leather work as with a hand burning tool you can only do so much but with a CNC you can do whatever shape you want. Now I hope this video was educational and you learned something about what this laser can cut and if you have any other questions or things I should try you can leave them down below and maybe I'm gonna make a follow-up with you or respond to you directly. That's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like down below and also consider to subscribe for me more videos like this. I've also Twitter and Instagram handles linked down below and you can also support me while shopping on Amazon or eBay with the links provided. So thanks for watching and until next time.